Now let me show you how to connect the GX3 Max smartwatch to your phone. First of all, you power on the smartwatch. You use this button to power it on. So when you power on the smartwatch, you swipe down. Swipe down and power this on. Then go to the Bluetooth of your phone and pair it with the watch. So you, you look for the Bluetooth, look for this, look for this watch call, then pair it. You click on pair, and then you have paired it successfully. So right now you can make and receive call between the watch and the phone. So the next thing is you go to your Play Store or Android. Uh, you go to your Play Store or the Apple Store, and then you download the mobile app called Wear Fit. Wear Fit Pro. You download this app called Wear Fit Pro. You want to download it to your phone? It's already downloaded here. Yeah. <clears throat> so when you download the app, this is the app. When you download it, you open it. So you see this requesting a permission. Click on agree. Click on I know. Then in this stage, you have to log in. If you don't have an account with WearFit, you create an account by clicking on register. But for a faster method, if you have a Google, a Gmail, your phone, just click on this and then click on this Gmail icon. Click on it. Then you can select your gmail account that you want to use to log in so this particular process needs internet i'm going to connect my phone to the internet and continue so my device is connected to the internet now you just need internet to log in but you can off your internet after then so you click on this and then you click on this gmail icon click on the gmail icon it's going to load your gmail account and you select the one you want to use and it will log you in straight up so if you have a gmail account you can go with that then the next stage for you is to click on the allow accept all the allow that is requesting then swipe down your phone depending on the phone you are using swipe down and look for location setting this location make sure it's on make sure this is on after you have connected you can off it so when that is on click on and you're on the app click on these devices so when you click on a device, you click on add device. So click on this, allow, and let it scan. You can see now, you can see the watch. This is the watch you want to connect, GS3 Max. Click on it to connect. It's connecting. You allow it to connect. It usually, it usually doesn't take time, so it's connected. You can see this, the uh, notification here. It's connected, so you are connected now. So you click on that select again. Click on the select and let it pop up. So it's asking you to turn off message notification. Click on OK. Look for look for this where fit app and make sure you turn it on. This will allow you to receive message notification on your phone. After you have done that, go back to the app. Go back to the app, then I think you are good here. So this is, well, like your testing of your accuracy. You compare. I know. Uh, you go to setting. So we have successfully connected the watch to our phone. So you go down, go to notification, click on this, allow. So you want call notification, you want SMS, you want WhatsApp, you want Instagram, you want Gmail, you want Twitter, anyone you want to be notified, any notification you want, whenever an information comes to your phone to also appear on your watch, you power it on. But it's advisable not to power it 
not to allow too much notification in order for it not to disturb you much on your watch so for for it we can just allow sms call and whatsapp and maybe gmail then we can power the rest of what well, whichever you wish is all is for you so after you have done that you can look through this different setting we have the camera when you power this one on it's going to make your watch like a remote control on the camera of your phone so you can take pictures by shaking the watch so when you shake the watch it's going to take a picture with the phone so that is called remote camera you can also set alarm you can set alarm on the watch from here 